uh, welcome to an edition at the uh, LRC's kitchen. Today I am going to present to you powder or pudding as we call it with drumstick. All that you have to do is take drumsticks and cut them into very very small pieces, not very big ones, size, this size. Boil them in hot water, add some turmeric and some salt. Salt needs to be very little, it's just as a preservative, not for taste. Just add a little bit of salt, turmeric, put this in hot water, para boil, do not over boil the drumsticks, para boil the drumsticks and dry them. The drumsticks must be dry, once they are dry, this is how they will look. Now I am going to powder the entire drumstick and then we go to the next steps. I have uh, made a coarse powder of this. This, would, uh, this is not a complete job. It's a coarse powder. It's not completed. I'll tell you what to do further. I will now take this uh, coarse drumstick, dried drumstick and put it into a sieve. After I saved the entire coarse drumstick, I have got a powder as fine as this. You can see the powder. There is nothing that cannot be swallowed by the normal tongue. So it is of this quality like a coarse rava for which I have added uh, about 100 to 150 grams of roasted dhania, 20 30 grams of roasted jeera and red pepper, some green uh, drumstick leaves which are dried and kept separately for a while. This also are sun dried, roasted, and made into small. You can just crush them with your hand like this to get them to this consistency. I've also taken about 100 grams of chanada roasted. I've also taken about 20-30 grams of udat and moong dal together roasted there. I've taken about 25-30 red chilies. Uh, again roasted thin. I've kept all these roasted. Of course turmeric, some asafoetida and salt to taste. Now I leave these six measures of this cup of uh, the powder and get these separately uh, ground and brought back. I have all of these now made into powder. Uh, this is the two, three dals. This is dhania, till powders got together. This is the red chili powder and this is the coarsely made drumstick dried leaves powder. Now what I am going to do is I am going to first add the green drumstick powder to this drumstick mix. To, this is to ensure the drumstick flavor to the masala. Then I add the red chili powder. So time to add turmeric powder, the dhania till powder and all the mixed dals. I now add some asafoetida. Get larger container. Not for the delicate, use your hand and mix all of this. To this, I'm going to add salt to taste. The quantity of salt that I added would be less. I have a purpose. The reason for losing less amount of salt at this stage is this can be used for rice. This can also be used as an add-on to sambar powder or to any curry powder. In which case the salt over here should not add to the salt that you added to the main dish. That is why there is less salt in this. Now the drumstick powder is ready for consumption. If you are eating it with rice, take a little more salt to taste 
Otherwise, this is fine. Store it. I suspect if it's stored in a dry place, in a dry vessel, it can last as long as you want. Thank you very much. My acknowledgements both to Datu and Abhinav for helping this reach out to all my viewers. Thank you. Bye-bye.